Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Ford. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we are here with a Dalton adventure. Dalton, <laughs> what have you, you done now? You say it with such uh, disdain and hate. Normally with Dalton, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I just accepted it. I, I feel horrible now. So, we go to the vintage stock a lot. It is we a uh, retro game store. They sell toys. That is where we get a lot of our patrons. And every time we're in there, I see they have these like boxes of CDs... That are like, you know, 50 CDs for $10. Right. And like, that's such a great idea. Yeah. That would be so much fun with books. It's right. like a book box, one of those book crates, but it doesn't suck. Like they all do. So I go to the used bookstore. Books Revisited We're never going to get endorsements from... I don't care. Okay. Books Revisited in St. Joseph, right? I've talked about this bookstore a lot. This is the uh, used bookstore. Super cheap, super awesome. Yeah. They have on their shelf a bag of books for a dollar. And a I... Bag? They're five books? Five books for a dollar. They're true crime. Five true crime books for a dollar. Because our options were romance, Danielle Steele, or true crime. I would have imagined you to go in with the Danielle Steele. No. <laughs> Growing up, true crime was all my mother read. Okay, well, here's the thing. This is how I justified this. Uh, we don't do a lot of true crime on here. We've never done true crime. Um, one of my favorite books is actually a true crime book. Black Dahlia? No. Okay. Or, was that what it was called, the book? I assume so. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Party Monster by James St. James. Never heard of it. Okay. Um, and the significant other loves true crime. Okay. Uh, she just reads tons of it. So worst case scenario, I'm going to go home and be like, I got you these. Actually, she knows about it. These have been on the counter all week. And she's like, can I open them? I'm like, nope. For the movie channel. Or for the channel. Here's something interesting to me. True crime novels. Who do you know that reads them? Women. Women. Why is that? Here's the th okay. I, I got to tell a story now before okay. we even get into this. Go ahead. Uh, we got the television for the first time in like four years. Okay. I've never had. I don't have cable. I don't have satellite. I, I have Netflix and Hulu on my TV, but I actually have satellite channels. Now. Oh, okay. So you're saying now. Um, so we get that. She watches nothing but I killed my husband channels. <laughs> well told. Me. I I come home and she's like, oh, I'm just you're watching TV. I'm like, yep. Killed my husband. Almost got away with it. There is a channel dedicated to that, and that is all she watches. And she all she reads is true crime. So if I go missing, <laughs> I know nothing. I know nothing about it. But anyway, I love this idea. Whether or not we want any of these, I think it's awesome. We got five books for a dollar, and it's a mystery. Okay. So we're gonna open up. We're gonna basically do a haul video on books we have no idea what's in there. We're going to do an unboxing. An unboxing. Hmm. An uncrating. Uncrating. I'm sure that sounds wonderful on... <laughs> on it, it's probably yeah. terrible. It's absolutely awesome. So, book number one. Because You Love Me. <laughs> By M. William Phelps. An online love affair. A real-time murder. Wow. This, uh... Hmm. There's, there's pictures inside. Mm. Oh, yeah, they usually have, like, crime scene yeah. photos and stuff. Have you never actually read a true I, crime book? I didn't know they had crime scene photos. Yeah. I knew they had pictures of the people involved, like a biography. It's fair. They're fairly interesting. They really are. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. This is... Uh, I'm not going to read the... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read the back, at least? A life taken. Gian Dominico's fiancé found her body on her kitchen floor. More than 40 stab wounds and blows to her head with a blunt instrument had cut her life short. What monster had struck the heart of a peaceful New England town? There's suspense there. I think it'd be interesting to at least read it and focus on the writing. Because writing a true crime book, it's not a novel, it's a book, yeah. is completely different from writing literature. You want to read 429 pages of it? They're hey, all. Man, if you want to, I'm, I'm, I'm all for you. I, they're I all this size. <laughs> so they're all Stephen King novels? Yes. Yes. Uh... Okay. Like, I'm hoping Next. there's one in here that I'm, like, just about. <clears throat> These are geared towards women. <laughs> Desire Turn Deadly. That sounds like the title of a romance novel. Yeah. Fabio should be on the cover of this. But dead. Uh, early one November morning, Kara Borden, a pretty 14-year-old girl, was caught by her parents as she snuck into the Lancaster County, Pennsylvania home. She confessed to spending the night with 18-year-old David Ludwig and her parents, evangelicals, who had homeschooled their daughter were besides themselves with anger. They summoned David to talk immediately, but David arrived at the house with another plan in mind. 
thoughts? Not really. <laughs> I don't know where to go with this. Uh, this is written by a freelance writer. He looks like a killer. Uh, but his articles appear in the New York Times, the Sunday Times of London, uh, Men's Journal. Uh, his two previous books, Deep Descent and Dark Descent, are historical adventure nonfiction works about shipwrecks. Erica? And these are, maybe she knows this author. So these, these are written by legitimate authors. I don't care. You don't care? No, I... I mean, I'm not... I don't know. I guess this just... It doesn't interest me, these things. We should sit down and, like, film Adrian and Dalton watch Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> I think it'd be awesome. Anyway, we should do the audiobooks to these. Hooked Up for Murder. These are awful. These yeah. are absolutely terrible. I, I hate to say it this way, but you may have wasted a dollar. Booze and decadent dreams of beautiful and willing women filled the handsome footballer's mind. For as far as twenty cent books go, that is disappointing. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. Love Daddy. Love Daddy. That is also the name of a romance novel. Uh, shortly before Christmas of two thousand one, the bodies of Mary Jane Longo and her three young children, Zachary, Sadie, and Madison, were discovered. Were discovered. Uh, they've been murdered and dumped off on Oregon's coast. Okay. This is almost too graphic for me. Okay. I, I think it's interesting to talk about writing this in fiction and writing this in nonfiction. Okay. Thoughts? None. I, I We've got one left. You just want to get it over with? <laughs> yeah, at this point. Fatal Journey. His innocent obsession took an innocent woman on a deadly detour. As seen on TV's The New Detectives. I... I'm at a loss for words. I, I'm kind of wondering if I should have got the romance bag. Maybe. Uh, if I would go in there and there's like five novels, I would have been really excited. I just really wanted to open a bag live and have books in it. Hold on. Didn't you say that this, this store has 25 cent books? Yes. Everything's 25 cents? Yes. So 20 cents is the sale price for the bag. Yes. The hardback is like 50 cents. You're saving a quarter... And you're getting these books instead. Yes. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I guarantee uh, Dear Sweet Significant Other is going to sit and read all five of these. You better hope not. Uh, and I am going to go missing. Because between the five of them, I'm sure there's enough good ideas to be able to knock off a dull <laughs> It doesn't take much. Yeah. How much stupid shit have you done in your life that someone could say, yeah, he was doing that again? Yeah. Uh, so that was a thing. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah. Um, but if you like things that are not this, you should probably hit the subscribe button down below. Yeah, we do other stuff. Uh, this was an interesting adventure. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. We read a lot of Harry Potter. Shut your Maybe mouth. you'll like that. People like Harry Potter. No, yeah, more than... more. Than, you're just full of bad ideas. I, I am full of bad... Here's the thing, though. I think It'd the book It'd be easy haul, to kill you and get away with it. The book haul from this store will fix this for you. Okay. You're going to be excited. Okay. So... Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a like out of pure sympathy because this was not what I wanted it to be. Because this is the Yahoo I gotta work with. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Strip Cover and on Facebook at Strip Cover Lit. 